Hello, East families. My name is Scott Wofford. I'm the IB coordinator for East Magnet Middle School and High School. Thanks for taking a few minutes to watch this video and the introduction for the eighth grade community project for the school year 2021-2022. This brief presentation mirrors the introduction that we will be giving to students on Wednesday, January 12th. But we want you to know the following things by the end of this video. What the community project is, what the requirements are for the assignment, when are the important deadlines, what working with advisors looks like, and how to get started. First up, what is the community project? The community project is a key feature of the IB Middle Years program and is something that all eighth grade students do um, in every middle years program around the world. Um, it is a sustained in-depth inquiry leading to service in the community and takes on average about 15 hours of work for a student and their group. The project is broken up into four different phases and each phase has a set of assessment objectives that will be assessed at the end of the project. The four phases are investigate, plan, take action, and reflect and demonstrate. While the project has some important requirements, there is a lot of space for students to develop within their, their own goals. But the requirements are that uh, students can work in groups or by themselves. They should think hard about the communities that they are a part of. Investigate and identify an authentic need for one of those communities. Plan an action to meet the need and then take that action during a specified time. How are they going to demonstrate their learning through this process? Students in their groups will be uh, responsible for putting together a presentation that shares what they learned and what their service was across that time. The presentation will be from 10 to 14 minutes long if they're working in a group, 6 to 10 minutes if they're working by themselves. They'll also share and submit a process journal that has at least 15 entries or 10 if they're working alone. Some of the workbook activities that students will be completing to progress the project count as the process journal, but some will come from their own experiences. All of this will be shared on May 18th when we've set up a showcase to share student work with the school and greater community. There is a strong process to help students work through the project um, with a lot of deadlines that help them take the next step um, in completing the project. I encourage you to pause this at any time to take a deeper look at these. As you can see, there's a lot of these, but most of the work will be done in uh, school during PLT periods, uh, IB time, or sometimes even eighth grade classroom time. All group choices need to be submitted to Mr. Knight by uh, January 14th, uh, and all groups must be chosen within PLT groupings. Each student will have a project workbook a lot of the workbook activities uh, count as grades, and each one of those helps move the project forward in a small step. Many of these workbook activities will be done as a, a group effort, um, but as you can see, um, they are paired with a lot of the supervisor meetings in order to, to have some uh, work done to create a conversation between supervisors and groups. As we'll get to in a few minutes, uh, each group uh, is going to be paired with uh, a faculty supervisor at East, and these supervisor meetings are set up in order to give progress checks and feedback and guidance for students. During the time frame of April 1st to 13th is when we have targeted student groups taking their action. This is when students actually do the service that they've planned and identified for their community. And lastly, as mentioned before, May 18th will be the Community Presentation Showcase Gala where we get to see the work of all of our students. Each eighth grade student or group will be paired with an advisor for the community project. This will be a faculty member at East they'll have a lot of contact with. Uh, both parties have certain responsibilities. For students, they have these responsibilities, attend all schedule meetings, and if they can't, contact the supervisor to let them know they're unable to attend. Bring the community project workbook to all meetings workbook will be digital, so they just will have to be on the computer. Uh, communicate with the supervisor about goals, progress, and obstacles. Complete an academic honesty form after each meeting. Interact with the supervisor in a positive and respectful manner, and collaborate with the supervisor to complete a student reflection. On the other side, it is the job of all supervisors to attend all the meetings and contact students if they're unable to attend. Help establish and maintain the focus of the community project. Provide guidance 
in planning, research, and completion of the project, approve the goal and the product, ensure that the work is authentic and complete the academic honesty form after each meeting, make constructive and positive comments at each stage of the community project, and then lastly, critique the student's practice presentation. Mr. Knight is going to uh, work with um, all of the advisors to make sure that pairings are sound and student groups or individuals will learn who they're paired with uh, on or around January 24th. Thank you for spending a few minutes and uh, learning a little bit about the eighth grade community project. We are very excited to get this started. Student workbooks are digital and can be found on Schoology. Please encourage your students to stay diligent of deadlines. Um, again, a lot of these will be done in school, but a reminder along the way to, um, to remain diligent with them and to uh, check up on the progress of the project is always encouraged. And we wanna let everybody know that this is a capstone event of the student's career at East Middle. And we're very excited about showcasing the hard work and the ideas of our students. If you have any questions about this project or anything about IB at East, please reach out at any time to me, scott.wofford at mnps.org. Thanks again. Hope to see you very soon. Take care.